all right it's a little windy so I'm gonna try and make this short but I just wanted to show you a couple things when I go to put on this RB cover first thing I do is put on the uh, wheel covers simply because I always forget but I wanted to show you something I'm gonna show you that when I put the actual RV cover I'm gonna use these two things to take care of a problem that I have up here with some of these new RVs if you notice when I put the cover on I'm gonna have the AC I'm gonna have this vent cover which they can hold uh, the pressure from the uh, RB cover same thing with that one up there but the antenna as you notice is a little on the delicate side by the way it doesn't go up or down winds picking up so I'm gonna get going Alright, so as you can see, hopefully you can hear me through this wind. Sorry, it's uh, a little loud. But as you can see, whenever we go to put the RV cover on, it's not going to get caught up on this antenna. It's actually going to hang off this pretty sturdy cooler and this pretty sturdy uh, tote. So I'm going to go put it on and I'll show you. As you can see, it creates a nice little pitch, protects the antenna, and that way the water goes down like that. I wanted to show y'all something. So I haven't strapped this thing up, and I need to because the wind's blowing. But I've actually, I don't know if you saw, I've actually, I've got a ladder right here, and it's installed from the factory. I don't know if I'm being too overly cautious by not using it on a regular basis. Matter of fact, I've only used it once and that's when I accidentally left a broom on top of the roof and I went down the street and I saw it and so I was in the middle of the street and got up there using that. But other than that, anytime I can, I use this extension ladder. And so that I don't scuff up the paint, I put a towel on it so it doesn't uh, scuff it up. Of course now I've got the cover on it so it's not going to do anything. But when there's no cover and I need to get up and down, I'll use a towel to protect it. Anyways, that's just a side note. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these tips. I'm going to show you. I still have to strap this down. It is windy. If it gets a little windy and the audio gets bad, I apologize. Alright, hopefully this wind uh, won't bother us too much. As you can see, uh, now that I've got that that cooler and the bucket, do you see how it, it forms that nice little pitch? So that's kind of what I was going for, and that's what really helps out. Now I've got it stripped down, the wind is blowing, I apologize if, if the audio is bad. But uh, anyway, those are just my tips. Uh, I store it here in my driveway, um, but I, I was worried about that antenna bending. So that seemed to help, it seems to work. Um, but if you guys uh, like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video, and uh, leave any comments below. Thank you so much.